Welcome to Akoromid Seed Secondary School in Kapelebiong District. We are much aware that Kapelebiong District is one of the that districts in Teso subregion which are lagging behind in terms of education. And in most cases, the local leadership has been telling us about modern schools in Kapelebiong District. But I can compel to you, this is one of the super secondary schools coming up in Teso subregion that government has injected to a tune of about more than 1.5 billion shillings to raise the structures and make it modern. Take a look at the school and see if it could be done and well rehabilitated given all the, the, the necessities. I think this will be a class school in Kapelebiong district. But of course we should also remember that this is one of the first seed secondary schools in Kapelebiong district that government has put in resources. In most cases, schools have been built, but they face challenges of resources. My name is Vivale Moses, head teacher at Kuramik Seed Secondary School. We are very grateful to the government of Uganda for the construction of the school. There are many facilities which government has given us, for example the ICT lab, the administration block, the science lab, the classroom blocks, and everything is really moving on well. We are so, so grateful, government, thank you so much. The teachers' houses are also under construction and very soon they will be completed, which is very good. They will provide comfortable accommodation to our staff in this rural environment. Um, the ICT lab is almost near completion. It's our prayer that uh, it is fully stocked because we, as a school, we only procure the two computers. So it is our prayer that government facilitates in facilitating that lab fully so that our students are, are compliant in this digital era. The lab is also, much as we have the building in place, we are lacking the necessary equipment. As a school, we only procure the few. We also pray and appeal to government to fully stock the lab so that our students can do enough practicals. We are very grateful for the textbooks which we are receiving. We recently received some textbooks for the senior threes, which has been a public outcry in the whole country. We pray that all subjects which are which we, in which we have not yet got the books, we get them so that our learners do not lag behind. We are grateful to government for posting the teachers. Right now we are almost fully uh, catered for, save for just a few subjects where we have uh, put some teachers, we have recruited some teachers on local arrangement. Otherwise, government has given us most of the teachers. The community is also very supportive. Whenever there is anything to do with acromit seed, they quickly come in. The parents are very supportive. Some are feeding their children at school, which is very good. When a child does something wrong, maybe in the community, they quickly come and let us know. So there is that cordial relationship between the community, the staff, and the students as well, which is very good. And we also thank the community for giving us the children. As teachers, we cannot do enough when we are teaching empty classrooms. Thank you so much, and we pray that you continue giving us more since we have enough facilities, we have enough furniture, the, the rooms are special. We just request that the community gives us 
more and more children so that we prepare them for the challenges of the future.